not about scrolling through social media and looking at people on vacations and looking at the people that are projecting the highlights of their life. It's not about that. It's about can you do better than you did yesterday? If you're walking through or walked out of or survived the worst trauma and pain of your life, believe that this is the first day of the best days of your life. There's always another level. And it's not about beating the man or woman that's standing in the room with you. It's about beating the man and the woman that's in the mirror. Can you do better than you? Can you do better than you did yesterday? That's all I want to ask you. Can you do better? You may be tired. You may be broken. You may be hurting. People may have betrayed you, lied on you, left you, but you refuse to give up. There are going to be days when you are not going to feel like waking up. There are going to be days when you are going to be tired of being you. You got two options. You can give up or get up. In order to realize the I am and directly experience your true divine nature, you need to break down the egoic structure and also break all chains that bind you to your subtle body, meaning you need to free from all karma, vasanas or desires, and samskaras or tendencies. This all requires penetration of the deepest levels of the mind. This is not an easy process. It takes most forms, many lifetimes of spiritual practice to do this. But there is one practice that can super speed this into a 12 year course, the practice of a Honda Brahmacharya. Picture your current form as a sort of tripod. You have your consciousness, your gross body, and your subtle body. Your gross body is super temporary and will vanish shortly after death. Your subtle body, or sukshma sharira, is also temporary as it ends on enlightenment, but persists death of the body if the practitioner is not enlightened and carries with it the karmas, vasanas, mind, and samskaras. Your consciousness is eternal, and that eternal self is the real you. In order to liberate from the cycle of birth and death, you have to destroy your karmas, tendencies, and desires. And as stated in the 12 year course of God Mode, if genuinely practiced, you will do just that. First, you will control your body. Then, with some time, you will slowly begin destroying your tendencies and desires and begin to control your mind. Then, with even more time and diligent practice, you will actually have actual conscious control of your energy or prana, and eventually complete control of the body, mind, and energy as the desires, karmas, and tendencies get destroyed for eternity. This all happens as Ojas builds and strengthens within your being. Within around 60 days of God Mode, if one genuinely practices, then Ojas will begin to form and continue to form until around 12 years when the ultimate goal is met. In the beginning, active sublimation of all your sexual impulses can be difficult. For those new to this, it may seem impossible, but so long as you are able to at least restrain yourself physically in the beginning and conduct the sublimation tactics, eventually the need to restrain will go away. What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's all my guys doing? How's all my mans doing? How's all my retainers doing? It's your man in the building, bro. <laughs> I got so many stacks of millions. I don't even know where to put them, bro. The shave Lion King back again, bro, on a long, long, long streak of retention, bro. Feeling wonderful, feeling nice, feeling like coming on here and sharing with y'all, man. What I'm about to do, bro, is I'm going to have a couple of y'all, man, come up here and just talk about retention. Okay, even if you a beginner, even if you are a newbie, it doesn't matter what you are. Okay, what we want to do, bro, is we want to get more people. All right, sharing their stories. We want to get more people, bro, out here. All right, touching other people. Okay, helping other people. All right, make the right decision that they need to make in their lives. Okay, because I'm only one voice, bro. Okay. I'm only one voice. I can only do so much. Okay. And I really want you guys to really start reaching out and helping people. I feel like it's very important. 
So guys, I have a couple things that I want to just speak on really, really briefly. Okay. I want to, I want to tell you guys a little bit more. Okay. In depth about this superpower that you have. All right. This superpower that we have, bro, is so potent. I want you guys to understand, bro. All right. This is so potent, bro. I want you to understand that you can create. Okay. Think about it, man. You can create. I want you to think about yourself. I want you to think about how sophisticated of a being you are. Okay. All the parts that make you go, all the different thoughts that go through your head, all the different things that make you unique as an individual. I want you to think, bro, about how much creative power that took to create you. Okay. And how you can take this power now, bro, that you are now cultivating, bro, and aim it in a direction in your life. Okay. Like I'm doing purpose and really changing the outcome. Okay. On the way that you live, right? Anything that you can imagine, bro, anything that you can imagine, bro, you can create with your mind. All right. And you unlock, bro, all of these hidden secrets of the matrix. This is what happens, man. You go on this journey, all right? You go with your head down. You give in to the unknown, man. Your life starts changing rapidly around you, all right? To the point where it can almost shock you, all right? Because people that are not supposed to be there, that are sucking on your energy, all of a sudden mysteriously just get wiped away. All right. And then these new people start coming into your life, bro, to help you rebuild. All right. And help you just take off from a point, bro, that you thought that you would never, ever get up out of, man. All right. This is what starts to harmonize as you're going on. You begin to find things that people only teach in occult classes. We're talking about secrets here, guys. All right, we're talking about occult secrets here, things that people have to join special groups, all right, and 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 graduate to certain different, you know, statuses to be able to receive the information that we are learning by cultivating the most powerful energy here on this planet, which is our sexual life force energy, all right? You are doing this now, all right? You are unlocking everything that you can possibly imagine. When I tell you the brain works to a new level, bro, you are like inspector gadget out here, man. I'm telling you, man, there's nothing that gets by you. It's so crazy on how your intuition is so on point, bro. It's like, you know, people before you even meet them, bro. I can't even tell you how many people that I don't met, bro. All right. And I don't even know them from a can of paint, bro. But guess what, man? Ultimately, when they come into my presence, I automatically know something about these people before I even know them. It's so crazy what's been going on, you guys. All right. I want to give you guys a little short little story real quick on, on this little point that I'm trying to make, bro. All right. I had this that happened to me the other day. All right. The other day I'm sitting there and, and my, my intuition has been acting just super crazy, bro. I've been pulling in people with my magnetism, bro, that are putting together um, a picture, okay, a puzzle of my life that things were missing, like information where people who, who have messed with people that I used to mess with are all of a sudden now being magnetized to my energy. They're coming out of nowhere. These people are not even supposed to be in the area of me, but they have just were drawn to this area for some reason is what I've been told. People are just telling me they just decided to come here. And next thing you know, I'm meeting people that, like I said, that <laughs> were with people that I used to be with and they're filling in holes. They're filling in gaps of stories, okay? When I tell you that everything comes to the light, okay, and it's best to be a good person, it's best to walk in the highest spirits, all right? It's best to put out what you want to receive back. I tell you that's what it is, okay? Because things in my life as a retainer, my magnetism has brought so many truths to me and I had no idea they were coming my way. As I said, it's crazy that I'm running into these people, bro. And when I meet them, I don't know them off 
point, but there's something about them that I'm already perceiving. It's like I already have a connection to them. It's like I already know somebody that they know. And what I end up been finding out when I'm talking to these people is they're somehow connected to someone that I was really connected to. And they end up telling me information. They end up, you know, telling me things that I never knew about people that I used to deal with. Okay. That I was really close to. And I find that really, really crazy. Okay. On how this has been happening. And I'll give you this one last point. So I'm sitting here at work the other day. This is a true story, guys. I'm sitting here at work today. Mind you, I'm a, I'm a very professional person. This is why I think people like me so much. Not only that I am retaining and I am being the best individual that I can be, that I'm also a very prof professional person. I treat everybody like a superstar. Okay. This is my character. This is how I am. If you were to come in and I had no idea who you were and I was giving you some kind of service, I would treat you like you were a celebrity. That's how I am. Okay. So I give people this type of energy. Hence why I guess I get tipped so well in my line of business because people appreciate what it is that I do, the energy that I give them. I noticed on my one-on-one -on -one and these consultations with people, I'm able to uplift people. I'm able to make people have better days. Okay. I'm able to touch people. I'm able to find out a lot of things. I get so much stuff shared with me. It's crazy. Okay. Some of the stuff I wish I could share to you, but it's not even appropriate. Some of the things that some of these people open up and share with me, but it's just the truth of a retainer. Like I said, they all change in your presence. All right. It's really, really crazy. So I'm sitting there at work, bro. And this guy comes in, he's an older gentleman. Okay. He comes in, I meet him at the desk. I greet him with, how you doing, sir? <clears throat> How's your day? Would you like a haircut? He said, yes. And I walked him back to my chair. I sat him in my chair, I put him in my chair, I draped him with the cape, put the necktie on him, started asking him our, you know, questions in the consultation, asked him how his day was going, asked him if he had any plans for the rest of the day, asked him how he's feeling, you know, just, just kind of just trying to tap in with him before I start cutting his hair. And then I asked him, what does he want? What is his service? And I listened to him very carefully because I always listen to the details. It's very important when you're dealing with people in a business like this to listen to details because those are what's going to make your tip or break your tip. So I'm sitting here listening to the guy talk to me, right? And this whole time, guys, I kid you not, I don't even know this man from a can of paint. Okay. I do not know this man from a can of paint. There was not, no one in the whole store you know, made it, made it look like they knew who this guy was. They just made it look like it was just some normal guy. Okay. So he sits down in the chair, bro. He sits down in the chair, bro. And once he sits down in the chair, bro, like I said, I give him the consultation. I start hooking him up. You know what I mean? I'm treating him good. I'm doing everything he wants. I nailed this perfect haircut on him. The whole time we're sitting there conversating and everything that I'm saying, to, and you know, everything that he's saying to me, I'm saying, yes, sir. And I'm listening, you know, I'm being very respectful. Okay. I'm being very gentle. Okay. But this whole time I'm doing this, I have this gut feeling guys. I cannot, I'm not making this up. I cannot lie. This whole time I have this gut feeling that this guy is somebody important and he was just the old little man. Okay. I'm just telling you the truth. I just had this feeling but nevertheless, like I say, I kept, I keep, you know, I treat everybody the same. Everybody gets the celebrity. So at the end of the haircut, bro, he looks at the haircut. He says, that's one of the best haircuts I've ever had. He said, you were very attentive to detail. You listened to what I said. You nailed the cut. You were very polite, very professional. Thank you very much. And he got up out of the chair and he starts walking to the counter. So I start walking up to the counter to go check him out. And as I'm going up to the counter to check him out, bro, guess what happens? He pulls out this card and he pulls out this weird card that I've never seen before. And this weird card happens to be a lifetime free haircuts at the place that I work at. Now you got to ask yourself, if you, some guy comes, you know, up to you and hands you some card that says free lifetime haircuts, you're kind of going to be scratching your head. Like, what is this? Is this real? Or is it fake? Okay. Is this guy somebody that I don't know who he is? What's going on here? So I'm up there at the counter and he pulls out this card and I have no idea what it is. At this point, I turn around and ask my manager and I said, Hey, what is this card? This guy just gave me this card. She goes, Oh, that's such and such. He is the father of the owner of all the businesses. And my jaw literally hit the ground. Okay. 
here is the father of the owner of all the businesses, and yet no one made it, uh, any kind of a spectacle of him being in the store, made it look like he was kind of weird. It was almost to me like it was some kind of test okay, um, to see what kind of a person I am, you know what I mean? What kind of employee that I am. All right. And for him to congratulate me like, like he did. Okay. Give me a tip. Okay. And then told that he was going to go and tell people that, you know, I did a great job. All right. Totally made me feel really good because at the beginning of that whole thing, I had the intuition that this person was somebody okay that whom that I felt like I had a connection to it was it was weird okay and then the, here's the last part that I want to tell you which is the truth so as I'm about to get him out of the chair if I'm lying I'm flying this is what I did I had no idea who this guy was right this is before like I said we walked to the counter the last thing that I did to him was I prayed over him you know what I mean? I was like, yo, I don't know who this guy is, but you know, maybe if he's having a bad day, you know, get, you, you know, have someone come to him, make him have the best day ever. You know what I mean? Protect him. You know what I mean? Keep him, you know, vibrating high and happy. This is all the things I said to him. And by golly, what do you know? When I go up to that dang counter, it is the owner. I swear on my life, Lord, strike me down if I'm lying right now. Okay. It was the owner dad of the business bro okay and he liked me and now this place that i'm working at these people really really like me and that made it even so much of a bigger deal now okay because these people are are giving me you know positions that i want to work in they're giving me options to do different things you know they're really working with me and i just think that that's amazing and it was almost like it was a test bro from the universe but it was like i got my memo before i even knew who the person was and i'm telling you these type of things have never happened to me all right and this has been happening so much all the people that have come into my life, bro, I'm telling you, I know something about them before I even know them, bro. All right. These people are being brought to me, man. Okay. We're talking about people who have no business in the area where they're at. And somehow, some way they just decide to come to this specific shop one day and they run into me. And they find out that we are connected in more ways because we are both tied to people that I used to deal with closely. When I tell you this is crazy on how this retention has been working, okay, and how I'm telling you you're unlocking all of these things in the matrix, the sixth sense, bro, okay, you're tapping into energies that most people don't even understand. And this is for real, you guys. All right. It's so funny that so many people still are still sitting here and thinking this stuff is cap, bro. This is the realest as it gets over here. When I tell when I tell you guys that you're sitting over here, bro, and you're playing with a superpower so potent, bro, that you have no clue. You have no clue what the max potential can be, man. This is what it is. All right. And I'm seeing little and little things more and more and more as I go on in my God mode journey. So what I'm telling you guys is the absolute facts, bro. It is one of the most amazing things that I've been dealing with. All right. I want you guys to understand, man, this is what you're wasting, bro. Okay. This is what you're wasting every single day down the drain, bro. Okay. You're wasting this potential, when I tell you guys that this is the boost of all boosts, I can't think of one power up that is stronger than this. There is no steroid. There is nothing in this world that is more potent than the energy and the power you will retain, okay, on your journey, bro, while retaining your seed. It is crazy the levels of tapped in that you become on. Guys, look, I used to be a very big music person, and I still am, but I want to explain something to you. The sound of music, bro, 
has become so much more vivid, so much more powerful, so much more beautiful to me, especially instruments. I find myself listening to music that I never used to listen to. And you guys have heard me play certain songs and you probably were thinking, you know, if you're in your low vibrational energy, what, what is he playing? But you weren't listening to the actual music. You weren't listening to the actual harmony. These are the things now, bro, that stimulate me, bro. Okay. They give me good vibrational energy, bro. They help bring out positive vibes out of me. Okay. They keep me in a very, very peaceful state. All right. Because I'm taking in positive things into my life. I no longer listen to garbage music. I'm fully awake. I understand what they're putting out there. I understand that words are weapons. I understand that the power of the tongue, bro, can curse you. And if you listen to all the music that they have out there and you actually listen to the lyrics and you realize that you were repeating these things and you realize that you are a creator, you are a mini God, bro. Okay. You are a manifestor. Okay. And you don't understand that the power of the things that you say and the things that you think can come into reality. And this is why they pump this music because we end up reciting all of these other people's manifestations, thus helping them achieve their goals and success much faster. When if you understood that you have the same ability to write your own rap and to bring it into reality that would then be able to bring you all the manifestations that you could possibly, you know, endure, bro, in one lifetime. And I tell you, this is what you can do. This is what you can do. All right. But it's time for you guys to really grasp and understand what you're wasting. Okay. And what you can be tapping into. I'm talking about physically, spiritually, and mentally. This is the ability. These are the powers that you get. This is a forgotten, bro, hidden wisdom, bro. Okay. And what you're doing, man, is you're out here reclaiming your true power and purpose in life. This is the goal, all right? They have taken everything from you. They have lied to you. They have given you a program that's so toxic, bro, that is now taking that light that you once had, bro, and it is now turned it out. And now you are a dark person walking around here. You are a lost soul, bro. You must understand that this lubricant, this life force energy inside of the body is like oil to a car. What happens, bro? What happens when your car does not have oil? Why is one the oil change one of the number one things that you have to do to maintain a healthy car? And this is the same thing that you need to understand as a retainer is that your life force energy is that lubricant. It is that oil. It is responsible bro, for keeping that car going for a long period of time. We're talking about if you do it right over a hundred plus years of happy living life. All right. If you're properly taking care of yourself, right. And you're not wasting this fluid, bro. And you're recycling this energy. Humans have known to live happily, bro. We used to live 120 years. All right. Now we're half of that. And one of the main reasons why is because we are doing all of this self-destructive behavior, bro. All right. We're the only people, we're the only people over here in the Americas, bro, who are sitting here, bro. All right. And thinking that self-indulging and releasing your sexual life force energy is something cool. We promote it. All right. It's the number one things that we have in our videos. It's the number one things that's all over our TV. Guys, you have to understand, man. Every time, bro, you spray, bro, you have made the choice, bro, for instant gratification, bro, over long-term power and success. And this is what we are not here to do. We are here to get it right, fellas. We are in the fourth quarter of the game. 
Who can I count on to come in and hit the Jimmy off the bench? We need you guys to step up, bro, and save the team. All right. Our team is out here struggling. Team America is out here looking like a joke. This is where we live. This is where we reside. This is where our babies are created. All right. And we're out here looking like the laughing stock of the world because we're out here not understanding the true power that we have with our sexual life force energy. You guys got to wake up. You guys got to smarten up. All right. It is 2024, bro. There is no way, bro, that you should still be sitting here in ignorance. All right. There's no way you should still be doing it. All right. There's too much information being an in information age that we're in right now. You should be taking full advantage of what you're learning and you should be applying it. Okay. Like I said, guys, we are in the fourth quarter. Okay. And when I tell you we're in the fourth quarter, that doesn't mean we have the whole quarter left. All right. We're in the, we're in the two minute warning. All right. Of life. You're out here playing around in a time like this. All these crazy things are going around. This is your warning, fellas. All right. You need to get your stuff right. All right. You need to understand if you don't do this, bro, there's going to be consequences that come with this. All right. And we all know what those are. And some of those consequences are what? Your inability to feel pleasure because now you're out here releasing yourself. You're out here getting this instant gratification. Okay. Now what you're doing now, you're lowering your testosterone. Okay. Now you've lowered your motivation. Okay. Your energy, your function. All right. You don't think it's appropriate now to go out here in the real world, bro, and deal with people on a, on a platonic human level. You don't do that no more. You rather just go home and look at a computer screen with pixels and bond with that. OK, and what that done now is that doesn't rewired your brain, bro. All right. Your brain is rewired, bro. You cannot connect with people. All right. And we know where the journey goes from there. All right. So this is why us as retainers have to understand, bro, this energy is so powerful, so creative and so potent. There is no way that you should be wasting it. All right. You should be using this energy towards your goals, your dreams and your spiritual growth, bro. This is what you want to do with this energy. And I'm telling you guys, there is nothing better than this. This side is so much better, man. I'm living a life of peace and happiness. Things are coming to me. I'm connecting with so many different people, bro. All right. I have so many people that just want to hang out with me who are interested in me, who like me genuinely for who I am, bro. All right. And I'm helping everybody around me get better in life. And this is the type of things that fulfill me, man. All right. And this is the same things that are going to fulfill you guys. You guys don't understand that we're all X-Men out here. I want you to understand this right real quick before I go. I want you to understand we're all X-Men out here, bro. All of us are different X-Men, bro. We all have a different ability. We all have a different power, bro. But most of us out here have been literally robbed, man, because what they have done, they have stolen the very energy that we need, bro, to be able to bring this power out of each one of us. And the minute we stop, the minute we wake up, the minute we look inside at ourselves and understand that we are the true superheroes, we have the true power, bro. We can change our lives and our destinies overnight, then that's what it is that you need to do. Okay. There is no more excuses, bro. All right. We are going to win over here. We are winners. Our lives are going to turn out great. Everybody that comes over here that connects with this energy is going to take this energy out there, bro. And they're going to create success and happiness in their life because this is what we're creating over here with all the positive energy and all the positive vibes from true retainers. All right. This is home base and this is where we're going to come, fellas. All right. To huddle up, bro, get our game plan and get out there and handle and execute on life. All right. So I want you guys to continue to be smart. I want you guys to think about what I said. All right. It's very important. I'm going to open up the line here before I go and hopefully I can get a couple of guys to chat up. Chris is cold. What's happening with you, player? I see you flashing them stacks. I hope you're doing good, Chris, man. For real, for real, bro. For real. Appreciate you for being in here tonight, man. Dylan, my man, what's happening with you, Dylan? <laughs> what's good, bro? I'm up here just doing my thing, bro. I'm just up here doing my thing, man. <laughs> the 
The Shave Lion King, you give out great content. Thank you very much for your efforts. The Shave Lion King for president. Let's go. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you very <coughs> much. I really appreciate you, bro. What's up, Kingy, man? What you doing, bro? How are you doing, bro? Um, no, nah, I've just been watching your videos ever since. Uh, it's, been, it's been years. Been watching uh, your videos, you know. I appreciate uh, you, man. Yeah, man. And uh, I, I don't know if you read my super chat. You know, I, it's basically like that. That's basically what I'm here to talk about. You know, about stuff, uh, you know, my experiences with SR. Um, I, okay. Yeah, that's my super chat right there. The, the, the two, I think it's a $5 one. Yeah, I appreciate you said uh anytime I go go long streak, I feel like I lose my sex drive. What is it? My brain healing or does semen retention turn you asexual? Now that's a good question, man. That's a good question. Let me answer this real quick and then I'm gonna let these dudes, these gentlemen that just stopped in uh speak up right quick, bro. Um it it listen, man, it's all mental. Okay, it's all mental. This is what you're doing, man. We 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 were we're literally rewiring our brain, bro. And if you understand that process, that's a significant process. We're talking about rewiring a supercomputer. All right. We're talking about something that's a pretty impossible feat to face in this lifetime. You just heard that little video clip that I just played that it takes people many lifetimes to be able to get this right. So understand, bro, that all you're going through is a test, man. You're, you're, you're right there at the spot where you're about to transmute all of this positive energy, bro, into something that's going to last you a lifetime. So just keep going and understand that you're going to have these issues, brother. Yeah. And, and I always relapse because of that. I don't know why, man. I that, That's what gets me. It's like I get to, uh, I say after about three weeks, it seems like maybe people call it a flat line. I don't know, man. I, maybe it is a flat line, but after about three weeks, it feels like I'm just like not getting her horny anymore. Maybe it's just like I'm not getting the, the really nigga fetishes. Ba or really nigga thoughts. I guess that that's what's happening. Let me and, ask you one more question real quick. Yeah. So you said you you go on about three weeks and it starts to affect you. Now, are you able to do that consistently? Um, no, I'm not gonna lie. As of now, so if I can tell you a quick backstory, I have gone three years before. Okay. So I've I've went three years and uh during those two years I went two years no, I went three years on NoFab. I was what the first year after like I stopped having what completely celibate. No uh no nothing and i went two years and i i'm not gonna lie like it, it, it's like my brain it was i was happy i was definitely happy i, I like my Kevin! urges were like replaced more towards like real life things it's Kevin! like it, I, I don't think i was lusting i don't think i was lusting after females gotcha. but it was like i didn't know what I, I was so young that i didn't know what was happening to me was that my Kevin! Just changing. Like I, I found females attractive, but I didn't know that me being so long on semen retention was basically removing lustful desires to more intimate desires, and I didn't know right. that. So right. it led me to relapse back to. Kevin! Got you. I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I got you. Um, yes, sir. Okay, yeah. bro. I appreciate you, man. Is there anything else that you you wanted to say, brother? No, no. I mean, everybody can talk. Really, right. nigga. Okay, go ahead, bro. Forever absolute. Go ahead, do your thing, bro. Oh man, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just here saying what's up to y'all. Just had a yeah. long day at work. I, I gotta work four days straight, so it's gonna be eight days, a ten hour shift, man. Oh, for real? Yeah. How you doing up there, man? I'm actually doing good, man. I, it's like a euphoric high every time I wake up. <laughs> I was That's really stressed when I was in Louisiana. <laughs> That's what's up, brother. Hey, man, look, bro, you, you're doing some important things, bro. I ain't going to cap to you, bro. Like, I've watched you grow, man, okay? You might not be fully, at, you know, where you at where you at right now, bro, but you come a long way, player. I've seen your growth, man. Well, what, what exactly have you seen? Hey, can you guys put yourselves on mute until I, um, I call up on you to speak, bro? Because I'm kind of getting some uh, play in the background there. 
Yeah, bro. So like I said, man, I seen you, bro, grow, bro. All right. You you started out, man, where, you know, you were a little confused about what you want to do with your life, bro. Okay. You were a little confused, man. Okay. But I always yeah. saw that drive. I always saw that, you, bro, you always had that drive, man. You just needed some direction to where you wanted to go, bro. And then you finally took that step in the right direction, man. And now you're doing your thing, bro. So I just wanted to congratulate you, man. Yeah. Man, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I can't. What's up, man? What's up? Yeah, I came. For y'all that haven't watched, man, I came a long, long way. And I, I still learn a lot of stuff, too, you know. Here right. in South Dakota, I meet all kinds of people, man. I'm, I've right. met homeless people, meth heads, crackheads. I met very wealthy people. I met a person from, that works for the Department of Homeland Security. You know, I just came across all kinds of people, and I just... Just been um just been leveling up brick by brick. You know, I, know, my I see it, bro. I see it, bro. And bro, man, like like I said, man, I seen the growth, bro. Just for you, you know, just you just gave into the unknown, you went with it, bro. And I, and that just makes me smile, man, because that shows that you know the things that we're doing over here, everybody not not do exactly every single thing that every you know everybody's doing over here, but the simple fact that you done learned the lessons, bro, and how to move in life, bro, and, and be a man and go out there and get it, bro. It just shows, man, that you're doing the right thing, bro. That's that's big in this community, man, because we need young guys like you, man, to be the example, bro. Thanks, man. Oh, that's all I wanted people to know, especially on my channel, is you know, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Tell them. And, men, and men have to be resilient, man. And I can't tell y'all how many times I wanted to to just give up. It's hard. But I persevered. You know, I caught I caught a greyhound trip, man. That that really showed me what it was like being a damn man. Right, you know, right. I, I, I had a four-day trip turned to a five-day trip because our bus driver missed the stop in Minnesota, so we were stranded for a day, <laughs> you know? Right. So it was just a whole bunch of... Uh, it was a whole bunch of errors and eraser marks, man. We'll get you. it. Yep. You know? Yeah. We'll get it. Yeah, you like, will, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. Keep doing your thing. You're almost there, bro. All right. I see you you applied for the Navy, bro. You you took no for an answer. You, you bro, you didn't take no for an answer. You just kept going, bro. That right there, bro, should make you smile, man. You're going in yeah. the right direction, bro. You're going to win. You're about to find it. And then you're doing good on your content, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that up, man. I'm telling you, bro, it's going to lift you to a whole new status, man. And then you're going to be able to create what it is that you want, brother. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do while I'm out here now is create what I want. You know, I could have, uh, it's probably not a big deal for a lot of y'all because, you know, a man's work is just what it is, a man's work. But, you know, I was, I was out here since Wednesday and it's today's it. Sunday. Yep. You know, I picked up four extra days, so I'm pretty much going to be working eight days straight, you know, 10 hour shifts, you know what I'm saying? And I was getting just, that money. Yeah, getting that money. You bet, man. Hey, I'm going to let one of these other dudes jump up real quick, man. Just you, If you want to stay on, you can stay on, bro. If not, man, I appreciate you for, for stopping in, bro. Oh, yeah, I'll be on here. I'm going to mute myself. Y'all go ahead. Uh, sexual Life Force Energy and Chosen. Go ahead, Chosen. Dylan, you can uh, come up in here too, man. What's up, man? What's up with y'all, man? I just want to... Uh, What's going on, man? man? What's happening, y'all? What's up, yo? I just want to say uh, I appreciate the community that you build. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, out of all the guys who post semen retention content, it's nothing like, you feel me, this platform right here. Like it just it speaks out to the true retainers out there. Right, to the right. true retainers, like pure semen retention goals, like waking right. up every day, fighting the battles, fighting the urges, and we still like you still posting that content and tell you still em, bro. dropping it. Bro, tell them, like, bro. Yeah, you speaking facts right now, bro. You Keep know what going. I'm saying? Like a lot of people right now, they don't they don't understand our mind. You know they what don't, I'm saying? Bro. A lot of a lot of the true the true to the chosen ones, like they don't understand how our mind think. It's a lot of battles and things that we go through on this journey, but it's really just growth. It's really like you say you you throwing yourself into the unknown. Man, it when you do that, that's really that's very uncomfortable for a lot of people. And a lot of people are not wanting to come up out of their comfort zone. What I see in this life. A lot of men rather stay in a shell. It's like, man, it's like 
cutting the lines, you feel me? Cutting, castrating the line, man. How you gonna stop yourself but becoming the full potential and the full ultimate superior man that you can become if you don't go on this journey? A no. man is supposed to fully unleash himself, fully, no restraint. We we are meant to be free. And true right, semen retention is the journey, you feel me? And the catapult to unlock things within us that makes us free, that make us like, Arr. you know what I'm saying? You, you wake up in the morning, you got that vigor. You got that exactly. vitality. You yep. want to go take the throne. It's a every every man that hop on semen retention, he a king. Thank you, bro. He a king, bro. That's all I'm doing. Bro, Tell bro, I've me. been I've been here for a minute, just peek back, laying back, watching. Man, I've been on this journey. I went on it when I was 16. Damn. Uh, I feel like you know a lot of us we anointed, so we we had to do things that every, that a lot of others cannot do. And it brought to us at a young age. I went when I was 16. I hopped back on around 19. I was always practicing, though. But those were my two longest streets. Right now, I'm about 600, four days. And Ooh, then, brother. you know what I'm saying? Congrats, you, brother. Yeah. Good yeah. job, bro. But it hey, always got to always keep tell. going. I can tell just how you're talking. Man, you know how we sit here and we can bust down all the people who capping on retail? You can hear it in your voice, yeah. bro. Just just the presentation, bro, and how you got everything in line perfectly. You know, all the steps. You know what I'm saying? It's like you could put together your own book. That's how I know I'm talking to a real retainer, bro. All right. All these other dudes that be out here that be just be jumping around from story to story. Mostly it's the woman attraction and this and this and that. Look, I'm not hating on nobody, bro. But like I said, this is the big boy channel. I, I want to attract <laughs> nothing but the real retainers over here. People who are really going through it, who are really sharing their stories, man. Real talk, real talk. We don't. I don't listen to none of them for real. It, it'd be a lot of shit. It'd be like looking good. It'd be coming with it, like you said, the woman. That's base. That's surface level. Like what's that's what's supposed to come when you truly working and retaining. Fact. That that that's the goddamn. That that's supposed to come. Right. Women right. attraction. That's supposed to come. Everything that we supposed to have. That's you a king. Kings had seven hundred. Why is Thank you. We were See, supposed to have been had that about. shit. We were supposed to been had that shit. So it men be acting like it's it's like Kevin. That's not right. Kevin. Uh, when you get on your duty, when you right. get on and hold your nuts and stop right. playing with your nuts, right? Hold on to your nuts, man. And and, and yeah, I know it's hard. I it might be able to go uh three week. Look, bro, do three week, go three more week. Thank you. Three more week. Then you hit ninety. Then you get 90 days. Then you get 100 days. It's, man, it's stacked. Like he said, brick by brick. You got to stack them days. You got to load up. You got to charge up. Then a lot going to get, we feel your brain not able to grab everything. That's right. the sub, You know what I'm saying? You got to go into the subconscious. You know, you it, it give you breadcrumbs. That's that's a lot. A lot give us breadcrumbs. As you For keep real. 15 on this journey, you keep expanding your brain. You keep expanding your country and a lot keep pouring more water, more information into and you. knowledge into your head. And since you open it up, since you say, Allah, give me more, he going to pull more. You right. feel what I'm saying? He going to pull right. more downloads. Then you get to mixing semen retention with the fasting. Exactly. See? That, then you, you get to mixing semen retention because you can't just sit on all this goddamn nope. energy and not do <laughs> nothing with it. You going to study you're going to work out. You're going to do something. You're going to find that genius. Tell him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tell him. You're going to find, find the genius, bro. This is We all got the potential, man. This is what I'm saying. You hearing the brother, man. He dropping so many damn gems, man. He's telling the truth, bro. This is how you know he's a real retainer, man. And you're hearing it from somebody else other than me. He is co-signing everything that I done told y'all, man. Everything. All right? So this is how you know we telling the truth, man. This is why we want y'all to do this. You ain't missed the beat, bro. I come on here anytime I can because you don't find too many real retainers. They they either cabin, you can sense it. It's like you say, you can sense it, man. When you on semen retention, man, you unlock. You unlock. Your senses are on another level. Facts. You unlock damn near animal instinct. 
I'm trying to tell people and they don't believe me, bro. And I'm not even sitting here to be trying to brag. See, this is the thing. People are so in a low vibration engine still congratulating somebody else, bro. Instead of uplifting for somebody else, you know, yeah. they automatically get into the lower chakra, bro, and get that fear, anxiety, jealousy, that envy when they could be doing the exact same thing, man. All right. Everybody can do this. And I'm telling y'all, man, they wouldn't be telling us Dragon Ball Z. They wouldn't be showing us all these different anime people who got powers, bro. We have this as humans. Y'all just got to learn how to cultivate it. Yeah. You got to tell yes, me. You got to get hard. Go ahead, my brother. Facts. Hey, y'all. I appreciate being in here with y'all. Everything that y'all saying is hitting right at home. Uh, Shave Line King, shout out to you, bro. You like, you like one of the biggest pioneers in this space, bro. I'm not going to lie. The very first time I became aware of semen retention was back when the pandemic it came to town. I never right. heard of such a thing like this. Right. And when I saw your channel, I was like, yo, where is this brother getting this stuff from? <laughs> and then I started to understand <laughs> Also, a spiritual thing, and right. I saw you tapped in from a very early point, right? Thing, and I had to start trying it out for myself. And once I did, I uh, you breaking up there, uh, you breaking up there, G. Hey, I just wanted to touch on that, man. Add to Go it. ahead, Dylan. Uh, Darius Shave Lion King, man. I've been following you since 2019, man. And uh, I think you just kind of, that's one of the first years you kind of really started going in with it. And uh, man, ever since I've been retaining on and off, I ain't going to lie, I ain't been perfect, but I've been sticking with it. I know it's real. I've seen the benefits of it. And I say for those that are skeptical, I mean, What's the worst that can happen? You know, just right. give it a shot. See right. what works. And you're going to notice the longer you go, you're going to see them effects kick in. And it's it's like a, a video game in a way. It's like you're getting, you know, new bonuses, new skills. Mm -hmm. And you want to see where it can go. Facts, and, bro. And it's, it's exciting, you know, because uh, obviously in this culture we live in, they're not talking about this. Nope. And you talk to your friends and people you know, you know, for the most part, they're going to look at you crazy unless they really want to hear you out and see what right. you know what's, a, what's, what's going on with it. So, yeah, man, I just want to say, man, for the dudes that are just on the fence about it, I think deep down you guys want to see what it's about. So, hey, give it a shot, you know, because what, what you've been doing your whole life, you've just been wasting your energy frivolously. That's you see what that's been getting you, right? So, yeah, man. I think we all know deep down, man. We just got to give it a shot and, and uh, see where it takes us. That's a fact, bro. It's a fact. And Dylan, I know you. You, I mean, look, you you in here a lot, man. So I already know you know. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of where you at in your journey, you already have the information. You already have your knowledge. I know you know how to apply. You know what I'm saying? And 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 based off that alone, bro. Tell us, have you seen some growth? Have you seen the growth that you know is possible if you just put in the effort? Man, <laughs> so much growth, man. It's like, I just believe in myself so much. There's so much trust and like, you just tapped in with the most high more. It's like a closer connection. And you just believe in yourself. You trust where you're going. You just, you're guided by the most high. And you listen Fact. to that in your voice. It's more Fact. easy to hear it. Your intuition's on point. And you're yes, just, sir. just following that. Yes, know? sir. I think a lot of people are lost. A lot of men, unfortunately, are lost out here because they they're are. Just, they're just led by their lower head, and it's it's leading them to destruction. We see it yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. So I just I, I that's why I kind of I started my channel. I haven't been consistent with it, but that's what inspired me. You know, because I know how real this is, and I know it's life changing. It yes, sir. Society for the better. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, we live in such a crazy, sick culture, you know, and so, shoot, when I have kids, God willing, I want to definitely make sure they're on the right path and 
you know, have their mind clear and on straight. And this is one of the ways to set them on that path. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely, man. <laughs> you ain't never lied, Dylan, bro. I appreciate you, man. I always appreciate you, man. You're a good subscriber, bro. I always appreciate hey, you. I appreciate support, you, man. man. Keep it going, bro. We we waking them up, man. We gonna do that, bro. I promise you. Hey, sexual life force. Did you want to go ahead and finish up what you were saying, right quick? Uh, yes, bro. I got go knocked ahead. off for a quick second. Uh, cause I had. Yeah, still kind of bouncing in and out, bro. So just just know that. Can you hear us? All right, somebody go ahead. Somebody else, if you're willing to step up and talk for a minute, go ahead until he gets his stuff yeah, cool. figured out. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, brother. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, bro. Okay. Yeah, Um. the other day, right, I got to tell y'all this. I'm sitting out in my car. So some dude walks up. He comes up walking from the left side of me, right? Now, I profile everybody. I right. live in the DMV area. It's a lot of uh, low vibrational guys in this area. Obviously, these guys haven't heard of semen retention. That's right. one of the reasons why these guys are so violent. <laughs> All they're trying to do is rob you, shoot you, and kill you. So I'm right. skeptical of every brother I see walking the streets. I see some Damn. dude walking up from the side of me. And when I looked at him, I said, okay. Typical thug, typical gangster, right? That's what right. I'm thinking. Right. This yeah. brother looked at me deep in my eyes, and he said something, right? I couldn't quite tell what he said, so I said, let me turn my car radio down because I got to make sure everything is okay. I said, excuse me, bro, what you say? He said, brother, you have a very wonderful, blessed, and safe day out here, brother. Woo! This brother was <laughs> extremely passionate. And Ooh. extremely intense about saying this. Right. So he took me off guard. I, I got caught off guard. Right. So I responded back to him with that same energy. I said, brother, you have a marvelous, beautiful, blessed day out here. So he right. said, okay. He kept on walking, right? He makes a right turn, and he's going on about his business. I'm still looking at this dude because I can't believe he came to me like that. This dude turns. He stops in his tracks. This dude turns all the way around. Looks me dead in my eye. And then he says, nigga, you know something. I said, what the <laughs> hell? I said, what the hell? And then when he said that, his brother took me completely off guard. I said, how the hell does he know I know anything? Then he starts walking back towards my car. You guys, oh, no, no, no. I always got my guard up. I don't let people get close to me. This brother walked all the way up to my car. Reached his hand inside of my car, and I'm reaching in, pulling him in deeper. We right. doing the handshake and the lock in like we've been knowing each other for thirty something years. Damn, I said, bro! I said, brother, this is a sign from me and from you by the most right. High. Yes, said, it is, brother. This brother put his hands out, and just looked up in the heavens, and started mumbling something under his breath. Right, right. And he said, brother, I'm gonna see you again. I said, that's right. And look, the brother had on a, a black T-shirt with white letters. It said, move different. Oh, I that's how it not. happens. And look, hey, mm. fellas, right before this guy showed up, 20 seconds before this guy showed up, I'm sitting out there in my car praying to the most high. And right. these last couple of weeks, my prayers have been having, I've been having in my prayers, I've been praying to the most high to show me signs and wonders to let me know and to clarify that he's working with me and that I'm heading in the right direction. You're doing the right after thing. I got finished praying, this dude walks up with a shirt that says, move different, locking eyes wow. with me, telling me that I know something. I said, wow. yo, this, is, this can only happen being on semen retention. This is That's that crazy it. spiritual That's stuff it. that goes on. Yep. And, and you got that sign. That. Yeah, man. I just wanted to share that with y'all, man, because you've been, you've been blessing me, bro. I can't lie. Every time I see your lives, whenever I can watch them, I watch them. But since I'm on the East Coast, sometimes I be getting ready to pass out when you come. Right, in. yeah, I feel you. And if I hey, don't hey, catch it, though, I hey, always boss. catch it the next morning when I'm going hey, to boss, work. Hey, boss, man, I just want to say, man, you, you – listen, man, I, I'm tapped in, bro, and I, I feel people. I'm empathetic. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an empath, bro. I know real people just by hearing your voice. 
dude, you a real one, man. Okay, you a real one, bro. And that's what the most high does to real ones. He shows you that you're going on the right path. You got to be awake, though. You got to be alert. And you see how you're living in the moment and you caught that? Most people don't catch that. That's why retention is so important because it helps you live in the moment. You know what I'm saying? You really are watching every single moment in your life. And that way you're able to make the right decisions and the right choices, bro. All right. Instead of being you know, with a clouded mind, bro, Appreciate with you, brain bro. frog. You know what I'm saying? Instead of doing that, when you're low vibrational, bro, I can tell when people are high vibrational who are on the right path. You can hear it all in your voice, man. Your, your gifts are coming, homie. Stay on your grind, man. I see you working hard on your YouTube channel, man. I appreciate your content. Don't give up. YouTube is a jack A to everybody, bro. Just keep doing your thing, man. Your, your gifts and everything that you want are coming, brother. I promise you that. Appreciate that, brother. Not a problem, man. Not a problem. Uh, that was a story. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Oh, okay, okay. Well, what is everybody learning with semen retention? I mean, what's what gifts are y'all exposing to yourselves? That's a good question. That's a that's a great question because we all have uh, unique gifts to each and every one of us. Uh, it's kind of like super cell. If you get to that point when you start retaining for a long, long time, like a year, two years, three years, and even more, you start tapping into, like he said, that Goku power. So yes, sir. you might have the spirit of like clairvoyance. You might have yes, very strong discernment. Yes, you might sir. be able to just look at somebody and just like know their energy, yes, like real. almost see their aura damn near. You know what I'm saying? You might be able to just, you can like, Guys who like don't retain, you can kind of sense that they kind of got like a a skunk type of vibe to them. You can tell For they real. just sit in the room all <laughs> yeah. day. They be on the computer. They skin yep. don't glow. They voice ain't deep. Yep. It's it's almost sound like they a robot. Damn. Um, you be able to sense and smell <laughs> that. Uh, that's Crazy. one of the gifts that I be able to receive. I'm gonna let somebody else speak on this. Sound like I'm a quarter of that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dylan. Uh, I know you got something. Hey, I 100 percent agree with that. And it's like uh like with like you said, you sense it's like a lack of confidence. It's like they're scared a little bit, you know. And uh women can mm -hmm. sense it too. And uh, <laughs> I think the most important thing that I'm do you know using with semen retention is trying to like focus on building, man. I wanna do something with my life that's like just once in a lifetime type things, you know, leave, you. leave my legacy. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Yeah, leave my legacy while I'm here. You that's know? what I'm talking about, brother. Yeah, man. So lately I've been kind of in hibernation trying to get my money right, but I'm not just trying to get money for the sake of money. I want to like do something with the money, like come up with inventions, like do some exactly. big stuff. Exactly. So, so yeah, man, I just been locked in, man, and uh, just trying to stay inspired and stay in shape and just just stay busy, you know. Good Damn. shit, Dylan, man. What's up? Go ahead, King. The man's dead. Damn. Oh, uh, go ahead, Ben. Hello. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead, King. Oh yeah, what's good, bro? No, nah, I mean, um. Yeah, it's just pretty much the same thing. I mean, I've been trying to go along. I just don't know if that's uh, my brain rewiring or or whatever. But when every time I go along, it feels like I'm just not getting no sexual urges. But I mean, I'm gonna just keep going this time. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, fellas. I did relapse last night, but um, I'm trying to go as long as I can, just and just see what just to see what happens. You know, brother. Um, are you go ahead forever. Go ahead. Yep. Are you okay when you're on semen retention? Are you uh are you sedentary? Like not no no no. I work out. Are you putting action? I work out. I I work. I you know I have a job. I work out. You know I I play ball sometimes. I don't think that's the problem. I think the problem is that maybe I mean I've I've been doing a lot of research. I it's I don't know what it is. Yeah. Like the first two weeks, my Kevin! are insane. Like I'm talking about, I feel like my testosterone is the highest the first two weeks. But I feel like right. after two weeks, I don't even think about.
Kevin! I don't That's know. That's how I am. Yep. Yeah. Sound like you got. You sound like you got too much energy, man. You need to find something hardcore to definitely spell all that. Definitely. If I are you, if I are you, man, I get into like mixed martial arts training. Yes. That's definitely going to uh, flush you out, man. Yep. No, no, I, but yeah, no, a hundred percent. But I mean, I like the first two weeks. The energy is like, how do I say? It? It's like kind of. Kevin! Like I'm having like really nick bags. I'm having lots yep. of testosterone. I'm having yep. lust after females. But after after two weeks, it seems like I don't know what it is. Like I just turned. Kevin! I've gone two years, and during the two years, when I was on my second year, especially, it's like I wasn't looking at women. Kevin! At right. Like, and I felt like that's kind of a. I don't know if that's a problem. I don't know what what is. I don't know if that's no fab turning me into a monk. No, like, I don't know what it is. I, I, that's what I'm asking y'all, basically. Like, because what, what that's that? you know that that's taking your energy too on a very subtle, a subtle level. Okay, that is that's a part of brahmacharya. You know what I mean? And if we we're talking the truth about retention, which is where that derived from anyway. So yeah, any type of you know energy drain like that is going to go against what it is that you're doing. And it's going to help you fall back in that relapse wagon. My thing to you is, um, I don't know if you watched my latest video, but most people don't understand that your diet is the most important, bro. All right. I don't know what you're eating, man. Okay. But I can get probably much guarantee since, you know, the majority of the people in this world don't eat the healthiest diet. I can probably much guarantee you're not eating a healthy, a healthy diet as you could be. Okay. And that's going to help you with a lot of willpower. That's going to help you with a lot of urges. There's certain foods that pervert okay the stimulation oh, wow. of that organ you know what i mean so that could be helping you you know have issues too yeah uh, so do you, do you guys what happened no it's excellent line you're saying that food is the foundation of it is and everything i like that. truly truly believe that well i believe i don't believe it's the foundation of semen retention what i believe is the foundation that you need to have in line before you go on semen retention because you're not going to be able to get, how are you going to go on something that's going to, you know, take extreme discipline, bro. When you have little factors like bad diet constantly, you know, affecting the way your mind functions. That, that for me, like I said, I've, I've broken down everything around me and I see what's going to cause me to slip up. And what, what have I been doing? I'm going two years and six months so i think i got a pretty good idea you know what i mean of what to do okay i haven't had many wet dreams i haven't had none of that you know what i mean so i think i found the way but earlier on in my first retention journey if i remember correctly eating the foods burgers fried chicken you know what i'm saying mm -hmm, yeah donuts <laughs> Bro, I was busting in my sheets, you know, every three months. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, with just that little correction right there, bro, I was able to clean up, you know, my thoughts. My mind is not... Kevin! Bro, I don't listen to garbage. You know, every now and then, I might watch a movie that has some kind of like... Kevin! And it's kind of hard to ignore any movies that have that, but it doesn't bother me to the point where I'm having relapses or wet dreams. All right. The the question I have for you guys is: So when you you're on two years, like, or do you guys experience any Kevin! at all, or do you guys are you guys attracted to any kind of females in that way, or what? Oh yeah. Going on? Oh, I'll answer it real quick. More. <laughs> yeah. Let me let me exactly let me answer that real quick, and then somebody else can take it. So, bro, <laughs> you are ex bro, man. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm full, bro. Do you, have you ever heard Jamie Fox? I think I might need security. He, he talking about his nuts was so full. I'm not the firm. <laughs> Throw some pussy in there. It's like skeet shooting. <laughs> I ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how I feel, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm full, you guys. I, there's no capping over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could take something down real quick. And here's the funny, here's the funny part, bro. Regular women start to be really attractive to you. Reason why that is is because you start to be attracted to things that are not overly sexual. You know what I mean? You're still sexual as hell, bro. But it's just like you're not attracted to something that's putting that bravado out there. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You're more you're more chill with it, you know. And then next thing you know, average girls look uh, stunning to you. Why? Because they're not out here showing off everything. 
And then you know what you can do with that behind closed doors. So I'm just saying, bro, like for me, there's nothing changed. I'm full as can be, bro. Like I said, I'm cocked. I'm cocked and ready, bro. I feel like I got a mini gun. I feel like I could go in there and get many, many women pregnant at one time. Okay. And that's the, like <laughs> my man was saying early, like uh, Chosen was saying early, that's what it is. You're a king. That's what, that's why I've been trying to tell you guys, listen, go on your retention journey, stay out of relationships and tell me once you go on a long enough street, do you really want to be in that relationship? Do you want to really want this one female when you could be out here, bro? having i'm not promoting this i'm just saying on your king lifestyle this is this is a choice that you have because many of women are going to want a man like you you got to understand this okay so are you going to live that life or are you going to live a life where you can roam and be a king and being your natural element that's my whole question to you guys and this is what retention has done to me is put me in that mindset and now i'm i have all my tools bro and i'm out here in the world just living life Mm. Well, that's it. well. That's exactly my question. My question is that's exactly what I'm saying because the opposite happens for me. Can you guys hear me? Go ahead. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Speak it. Yeah, yeah. That's well. That's exactly what I'm saying. The opposite happens for me when I go like so. When I was on two years streak, I didn't experience no type of attraction to like I didn't see nothing. Like I basically was asexual. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why that happens. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know if that's just me. Yeah, it can't be just you. That's a rare case because most of the guys I know that are full will say the same thing. Okay. Yeah. We can knock something down. This is, listen, this is what I, man, when I came off of my two year retention streak, bro, bro, I could last for hours. Do you hear me? Okay. I could, bro, <laughs> you guys have no people who think when you go on retention that you're losing no fool, you're gaining everything. Okay. You gaining everything. You gaining the stamina. You gave in the strength, bro. Okay. That is important. You don't lose nothing. Now, some of those people like, like my man saying he go through and he feel like he's asexual. Listen, I don't feel like it's an asexual thing, but I'm going to tell you this, bro. I'm not chasing nothing. If that's what you saying, I'm not chasing nothing. I'm not out here going after everything that looked fine. So that would, would that consider me as asexual because I'm not chasing nothing? No, that just means that you're not out there chasing. You're letting it come to you, okay? And in very few cases, it's 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 going to be hard to find somebody out here in the modern world who matching up with the same energy frequency as you, okay? If we're going off of that determination factor, bro, then it's going to be slim to none. You're going to be missing a lot, okay? There's only going to be a few slim pickings out there for you, and you might feel as such, but I don't feel like that, okay? I feel like, like I said, that I can take down anything at any given time. I feel like I'm at the top of my hunter peak, bro. Okay. So I don't know if anybody else is feeling that way. You can go ahead and add. Okay. Just let me know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if anybody yeah. else is feeling the same thing I'm feeling. I don't think, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's just about where your mind is at, you know, because if you're on this retention, it's kind of like whatever you make it, you know, if you're focused on women, that's what you're going to be focused on and, It'll kind of take advantage of you. You be out here chasing women. I've been guilty of it on this on this journey as well, and I'm sure other guys have been doing that. Um, but then there's a, a point where you realize, like, that's a waste of time and energy where you should be using this for the right reasons to really change your life. And and with that, like like uh, um, Shay Lion King said, you know, the women just going to be flocking to you. They're coming to you. They really do. That's I'm how it's supposed you. to be. That's they how. really do, now, bro. I, I can I can attest to that. When I was on my two year streak, I was getting a lot of attraction from females. That is a hundred percent true, though. Like a lot of attraction. I just didn't like I didn't reciprocate that energy back to them because I just wasn't attracted to them. Except apart from this one girl, it was this one girl that I was really <clears> like. <throat> she had me, you know, in, in that energy. Like she was high as hell to me. Right. You know, I just never made a move because I was I was young. I was like nineteen. I was shy. You feel me? I didn't make a move. I was very insecure at the time. Yet. But when I was on two years, I was 18 to 19. I was two years. I was on two year streak. I was. That is that is true. I was getting a lot of attraction for females like a lot. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's up to you what you want to do with it. You know, yeah. you want to take them down or you want to just focus. I mean, hey, this is this is life. You know, you got to make that choice. Real right talk, up. man. Hey, yeah. hey, Mr. Mr. New York. How old are you? Who? Who? Me? Yeah. How you know I was from New York, bro? I didn't even say that. But anyway. <laughs> Come on, man. We, we can hear that. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm 26. 
I'm 26 now. <laughs> I'm turning 26 next week. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Okay. Nice. You ahead of the game, man. Anybody, anybody who's on this level is ahead of the game, bro. You got I, a bright I, future. So when I relapsed, unfortunately, when I relapsed, I, I've been addicted to pornography for the last five years again. So it's, yeah. like, it's very hard to, to break that addiction now. But uh, yeah, I, I went two years before, and I'm not gonna lie. I think looking back at it now, the, those two year that two year streak was probably the best moments of my life. I was the happiest. I was more alive. Like I was just Real more. Talk. But it just, you know, that's the only thing that was bothering me. But I, I think I get it now. I think maybe it was just like my my sexual desires changed. It it, it wasn't a way. It just changed. It right. Changed different. It just got different. I don't know. But yeah. That's that's it what it was for me. Like I said. <laughs> It does. Yeah. Changes Big your time. mind, changes your spirit, changes your aura, the energy around you. <laughs> yeah, for Big sure. Time. You know something I, I noticed today, right? I had to uh go out to run an errand for one of my family members to get them something to eat, right? So since I've yeah. been on semen retention, one of the things I've I've upgraded my life in multiple ways. Last month, I did 30 days, and I did all fruits. No meat, no veggies. I just did Good all for fruits. You, brother. Good for you, brother. Man, appreciate awesome. it, man. And the fruits, uh, of course, it was a challenge because I've been addicted to meat my whole life, not even Me knowing. Me too. I was too. <laughs> so once I did that 30 days of fruit, that made yeah. me like feel even more different, think even more different. Thank and you. I know That's for all fact, I want you to understand. I want yeah. to cut you right quick. That's all I want y'all to understand. You just heard it. I just explained this in my latest video, bro. You just heard what the brother said, man. Yeah. This is the perspective I, I I'm trying to give to y'all. Yeah. yeah. I heard you talking about that, and that is so true. And I know that the only reason why I even would have considered doing 30 days of all fruit is because I've been on semen retention. Semen Facts. retention makes yep. you want to get better all around the board. Facts. Mm. And, um... Because I was doing that, when today when I went to run this errand for my folks, I went to this restaurant, right? Now, I'm not going to lie. Do I like this kind of food? Of course I do. They sell right. nothing but soul food, right? The exactly. whole entire place was packed with people getting soul food. And I kid you not, brothers, I could feel the low vibration in there. Thank it you. made me very uncomfortable. I got uncomfortable Thank in there. You. I'm telling <laughs> y'all, man. Mm. And look. And as soon as I started feeling uncomfortable with that low vibrational spirit, I kid you not, five seconds after that, there was a lady to my right, and she started going off, started cursing and swearing. Oh, the, people in, the people in the <laughs> restaurant were trying to keep everybody in a good mood by saying, welcome, welcome, nice to see everybody here. The lady yeah. next to me said, fuck all that. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. I'm trying to get my shit and go home. I said, see, this is that low vibration I was feeling. Yeah, dude. It, Wait, it's a did you say man. you felt it in the food first? Uh, I, I felt it in the store, in the food place. Right. In the soul food place. Nah, he just feel, felt the energy. I felt you do. the energy was bad. I kid y'all not. I felt Dang. the kind of energy. I was like, at any second, one of these Negroes going to whip out a pistol and start shooting. Right. I kid you yeah. not, y'all. Y'all know that. That low vibrational hood feeling. Yeah, right? yeah. And that's what I was feeling in there. And as soon as I felt that, the lady next to me started cursing and swearing, talking about, <laughs> don't nobody want to hear this shit. I said, wow. <laughs> See, this mm -hmm. is what I'm talking about. This is what right. I'm talking about. But when you're she got a low vibrational too, home, <laughs> you notice every little thing. <laughs> I've been noticing that too. I noticed like things that I don't even want to see, I'm not even looking for, they just jumping out at me. Oh, uh. <laughs> yeah, my my roommate, he uh, he he was he was peeping peeping game uh, last night. We had a uh, two we we were kicked off the campsite because one of these guys was whistling at a seventeen year old, oh, and the shit. girl had told her uh, the camp manager she didn't feel comfortable. Right. So you know they kicked us off, and we're wondering like who did that? Like, wasn't me. It wasn't this one guy they were trying to pin it on because he, he's missing two front teeth, so he can't even whistle. Right. You know? And, you know, my my friend is just putting the story together, and he's like, you know, those two guys, like I was saying earlier, you know, they're homeless. They're on meth. They do cocaine, too. They pop pills. Mm-hmm. You know, I noticed yeah. last week that one of them had, was, on, with, was withdrawing, you know? Right. 
And, you know, we just had to, we had to separate ourselves from them because, you know, they, they're very low vibrational, man. You know, I, right, I'll be right. honest. I'm not, I'm not even on SR. And I right. can still feel it. Right. You know? And imagine how much more you would be, though. Mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Probably you drowning. Know, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is this, the people that aren't, that aren't, aren't, aren't on SR. Here's the thing, bro. You, you hear all of us talking about it. So what, what, what is holding you back? What is holding y'all back? Yeah, man. I, no, nah, I really, I really want to get back to it. hundred percent. It's just very hard, man. I, I feel like it's hard. Absolutely time. agree. I, I absolutely second agree. Time when, I think the second time you're addicted to pornography is harder to quit a second time. Right. Right. Way harder. So yeah, right. yeah. That. Me. But I want to. I want to. But yeah, I do want to go on the big street right now. Just start. Uh, I just want to pitch in something. Just start, man. Just you feel me? Just, just like they say, just do it. Like just, just go three days. You know what I'm saying? Go three days, and go then go seven days. You know what I'm saying? Go a full week, then take it to fourteen. I remember one time, shit. I was battling to get to fourteen days. I would have a relapse. I was in a relationship. Right. And you know she would drain me, and I'd be like, "Damn, fourteen days! I can't, I can't get past fourteen days." And, wow, and I tell you, man, I made up one day in my mind. I said, "Look, we're gonna we're gonna take this thing. We're gonna we're gonna take this thing and start day one." And that's why I'm on the journey that I'm on now, man. If you and it takes twenty one days to form a habit, bro. Right, it sure does. Right, yeah. You go you go ten more days or eleven more days, you concrete that habit. Thirty days, you change right. your whole person. Exactly. 30 days, you concrete that. So once you get to 30, then you take it to 60. Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't go back to point, oh, I'm not feeling no stimulation. That's all I hear. You, you're not feeling no stimulation with the women attraction. Your brain, your whole chemistry is being regulated all, and being yeah. balanced. Yeah. That's all. you being set to your natural man. That's right. it. That's I know it, it, it feels a little uncomfortable because, you know, a lot of it come from certain environments and stuff, and we used to certain things, but you got to bypass that. You got to bypass that. And just like uh, my brother uh, Life Force was saying with the when he was around the food, and, and one of the topics was the food or whatever, food is certain on certain levels. Food is consciousness. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So if you go eat a hamburger, you're going to be Thank feeling you. more toxic and acidic in nature. Yep. Ooh, more and aggressive. When you, when more you, aggressive. And that's why probably around yep. this soul food place, that food, I know it's soul food, but it's toxic. You got fried chicken. Right. You got yeah. Yeah. feet, hog, <laughs> lamb, all that shit. Yeah. Parasitic, bro. Crisco you got, oil. That shit got parasites in. Crisco oil. You named it. All that. You but know what, you know what the key thing Wake is? Wake them up. You, the key thing is what we just said, though, right there, bro, is that food does what? It changes you. So mm -hmm. how yeah. are you going to tell me if you're going on the biggest discipline? <laughs> it's SR, bro. The, the most toughest discipline a man can possibly yeah. go through in his yeah. life. How is food not the most important thing for you at that point? They right there. Uh -huh. If you ask me, semen retention and your diet, those are the two most essential things uh, <laughs> to your health. Hardest discipline. It's the, right. both of them things. Food could be an addition. Kevin! It could be an addition and spilling right. your semen. Those things are the hardest things All to addiction. conquer. Those All things are the hardest things to conquer on this earth. Oh yeah, the taste. That's a, that's a, that's one of your, yes, your, your biggest appetite. Your taste. Yes, yes, your appetite strong yeah. as hell. Right. On both of these now. <laughs> so when you cut when you start disciplining yourself, you kind of Lessening the stimulation of those things, the, the spike in your brain, the dopamine that you get when you go on, Kevin! and you see, B Kevin! right? And you see all that shit that you don't really need to see. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then it probably correlate to what you eat. Yeah, like, both of them things, because your dopamine, you need such of a stimulant, you need such of a rush, you need such of a drug that you right. need <laughs> to keep yeah. going back to those things instead of kind of. When you, when you get on this, you kind of like you damn near become a monk. You, you really do. For the most crazy. part, you know, until you decide to come off again, you know, we all do decide. We'll decide to come off it again. Don't don't get it twisted. We yeah. none of us are perfect, bro. But if you have not reached a height in your life, which most of you haven't, because I haven't even yet. Mm -hmm. So why would I be jeopardizing all of my for momentum for this momentary pleasure? Okay. 
Listen, I understand, guys. We can sit here and say it's tough all we want, okay? But the bottom line is you're the one wasting time. As we're sitting right here right now, there's seconds on the clock going tick, 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 tick. What are you doing? What have you done? What have you prepared yourself, you know, you know, in the in the in the early days to set yourself up for the future? What have you done? And this is why I pushed this so hard because you're wasting time. Even if you only retain for three, four, five days, you're still benefiting yourself. It's the ones that who don't think they need to retain is the message I'm trying to get across to. You have to retain, fellas. All it's going to do is get you to start going on longer and longer retaining streaks. And when that happens, like I said, you are now, okay, the person in your family, bro, who is unlocking all these generational curses, bro, and creating a new, better life for himself. And that's what I want all y'all do. I don't want nobody to be in depression. I don't want nobody to feel like they don't have no drive and no purpose. I want everybody to be able to do what it is that they want to do and achieve what they want so we can all live and be happy together, bro. We don't need no more hatred, bro. Everybody out here needs to be uplifting each other in the community. That's why I say create your channel and just let us know that you have a channel so we can support you. Okay. I understand it's hard. Now you guys understand it's hard, right? You see how hard it is to come up here and make these retention videos, right? <laughs> so we should be having a little bit more respect for the people that are doing that, bro. Hey, Lion, I got a question. Hey. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, you definitely one of the ghosts, brother. I appreciate all your videos, man. And look, I really enjoyed that one when you told that story. I think you said you was at work and that dude came in there talking about he was a, a UFC fighter or something. Yeah. MMA or something. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play with you in front of everybody. How <laughs> you picked that brother up and put him uh, over top of your head. Yes, sir. Yes, hey, sir. Man, I kept on playing that video uh, back. I'm telling I was like, you. Yo, this is a semen retention superhero, right? It is. <laughs> hey, I'm listen. People won't think that's just a joke, bro. But like I said, man, once you finally experience it, you are gonna see and be like, "Damn, everything he said was real, bro." I uh, never believed that it would be me. I this this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. See, y'all sit up here and be like, "Man, that that Negro is special in some kind of way. He might be even <laughs> special Ed to be able to do the shit that he's doing." <laughs> Let's keep it real, bro. But I'm just saying, Man. bro. Like that's it, you put you get to this point and you're gonna see everything that I'm saying, man. Everything that I'm saying, bro. And like I said, man, it ain't nothing for me to just fall back and do it again. If I ever want to go back to whatever it is everybody else is doing, I've already done done it before. I'm doing something I ain't never done before. And it feels so much greater. The feeling of doing something that most people in the world cannot do gives me so much energy, thrill and drive and passion to keep doing it versus yeah. what everybody else is doing. Okay, I told you I'm the yes. leader, I'm not a follower, okay? <laughs> and I'm proving that, okay? So no that's doubt. what I want you guys to be able to do and to achieve. So keep going, fellas. Yes, sir. We will do. This we'll man, do. if everybody was to... What's that, brother? I think he dropped off. Oh, he, he accidentally yeah, he's got disconnected. Okay, well, let me ask a question real quick. Go ahead. So, you said that... Uh, what you say? You said that food is a major factor, but it's yes, not sir. the major. So what are what are what are other major factors besides a, a healthy diet? That's it. And being able to put yourself in a space like where you're at. See where you're at right now, uh, forever absolute. Let me tell you what you could do over there, bro. You where you're at, you can really get in your grizzy. You, you out there, bro, where there's not a whole lot of distraction. I heard you got, you ran to a little feasy. That's fine, bro. I'm not really jumping on you right now because you guys are still kind of young, bro. And I understand that you still want to fill yourself out, even though you know what you're doing is not absolutely 100% correct. But you still have a little bit of time as far as being able to not be 100% serious because you're still kind of young. But see, I don't want you to be in that mind state. I don't want you to get yourself comfortable. I want you to excel further than me. And the way that you're going to be able to do that is you have a head start on me. You've learned it at a young age. Bro, you could be a, a serious, straight up, one of a kind, rare genius, okay, amongst the youth. You could be a leader of all leaders. See, this is what you guys don't understand. This is that type of power. You guys think I'm up here just doing it because I'm good at talking. No, fool. I'm retaining 
life force energy that is helping me attract the people that need to hear this message. Yes, it's part me, but mostly it's part of, of what I've become. Okay. And what I stand on and that attracts and drives people. This is what you're able to do to be able to create whatever it is you want in your life. And this is the power I want you youngsters to do because you have no clue on how many youngsters are out there that are lost. You could have one of the biggest followings on social media if you were a youngster with discipline. Okay. Because we all know that the youngsters look up to the youngsters. That's the way it is. I'm just happen to be a hybrid where I can talk to both sides. Okay. But for a young person, bro, if you were to get ahead of this game, there's no telling what your future could be. And this is why I'm pushing for this because I honestly want to see it. We have the guys. We have Nana's. Okay. We have Thy Kingdom Come. We have all of these young guys that are doing it. They see it, bro. And I'm telling you, you guys are going to see within this community that someone is going to raise themselves up to the status of a genius and have a following that we've like never seen before based off of what we're doing here. And this is what, like Dylan was saying, this is how you leave your mark, bro. This is what I want all y'all to do. This is what, this is the epitome of being a man, bro. Mm. You need to leave your mark here, bro. Okay. Mm. You have to understand that, bro. You came here with all of these beings and stood present of all of this greatness and you chose to do nothing. You chose to do nothing. Mm. What is wrong with you? Okay. You're not a man. All right. Someone needs to shake you up, bro, and wake you up. Okay. Because you have a lot to accomplish. And the only way you're going to get those things done is by having the energy that you need to propel you there. Damn. 1000%. Can't forget. Never forget that. Bro, you, you can't, man. And forever, absolute, like I'm saying, man, look, bro. I understand what you're doing because you're young. Like I said, I just explained it to you, but you got to understand what you're you're going to be missing out on. All for just pleasure. All for a thought in your head. It's just a thought. It ain't nothing that you physically got to have. Think about it because if it's something you physically got to have, you would literally be uncontrollable. But since it's a thought and you've been able to suppress those thoughts, what is that telling you? It's just a thought. That's what's holding you back. You can't control your thoughts. And until you have that conversation with yourself that you can't control your avatar, that should be pretty scary to think about. All right. You, yeah, you don't sir. have the control. I can literally say that to people. You don't have control of yourself, bro. That's scary, man. Most that people means, don't. What's up? I said most people don't, man. They don't. And that's what's scary, bro. How is that not scary, bro? Man. I think it's important for us to remember, man, we're in this matrix. Like we're since birth, we've all been programmed heavy from school, from our parents. Everything's been indoctrinated. And I think when we remember that, it makes it easier for us to counteract it. So we, take, we take charge of our lives. We got to take control of our lives again. Because, I mean, everywhere you go, social media is, is sex. Everywhere is sex constantly getting you charged up trying to you know getting getting aroused and, right. uh, with the food too there's food everywhere junk food all this stuff is controlling us to make us do do these things to slowly kill us get us off track and avoiding from being greater than we we're supposed to be we're supposed to be way greater than we are thank you so hey. we got to remember that we we're under attack this is war this is war every day whether Tell you think or not it's a silent war. We got to take charge. We got to be generals and, and take control of our lives. And the ones that want to follow us, get on board and let's take control, man. I agree 100%. Real out here. Reason, man. I said if everybody was to practice um, semen retention, it would be a, a much better place in the world. Facts. That, that is very true. Er, er, nobody would be a lot of a lot of things. A lot of bad things happen in this world because everybody's a slave to lust, to be honest. Right. And it's going to start it's going to start with those women though, bro. Here, here, you know I'm almost I'm almost inclined to start making some content on woman retention. It's actually called ovum retention. Okay? Cuz women have sexual life force energy that they secrete uh excrete too, excrete too. So let's put it this way. When they are releasing their energy, okay, that energy could go inside, bro, and help the egg, you know, help them produce the egg. They have the same life force energy. The only difference is women, bro, 
or don't have a, you know, a, a faucet like we do, if you will. Okay. Their energy is circulated more. This is why if a woman truly goes on this type of a practice, bro, she can become way more powerful than a guy can. I don't mean to put that out there. I'm just telling you the way the energy works. Okay. This is why they are the goddess. This is why they have the power of attraction. A woman, if she decides to do this, bro, she can have society just literally change overnight because there would be no more nana given out. You know what I'm saying? It'd be, you, oh, yeah. how are you going to have to get it this time? You're going to have to become your best version. Okay. You're going to have to be able to talk her. You're going to have to be able to serenade her. You're going to have to be able to stimulate her mentally. And I'm telling you, she's not going to be able to find that. No regular dude with empty depleted balls. All right. Because he's going to have the same low vibrational swag, bro. Okay. I told you we are moving into a new time. You can see it in the way it's happening. What is what's happening now? Now women are wanting the guys with, you know, who are at the top. Okay, the guys that got the money. Okay, if you look at that in a different type of an eye, basically what that is insinuating is that insinuating that women are now wanting men of high value. Okay, how are you going to bring high value to yourself as a regular man? You start retaining your seed and then you start getting these gifts and these gifts set you apart from others. And this is where you're able to create. And then when you're able to create, guess what, guys? Now you are that 1% man. Okay. And this is where I'm trying to tell y'all. It puts it takes a little bit of a work, bro. Just a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, bro. And you'll be able to have whatever you desire. So just put down these urges. Focus on yourself, guys. Okay. Understand that you got the power and the ability, bro, to have all of this in the palm of your hands. And all it takes is a little bit of discipline, a little bit of work. So just put your head down for a few years, bro. Focus, grind, go hard, bro. And then when you put your head up next time, you'll be able to indulge in all of this if that's what you want. Hey, hey, what are you waiting for? What's that, brother? I said, so you're on SR. What are you exactly waiting for? <clears throat> what do you mean? Can you explain a little bit more? What do you think? What do you mean by waiting for? What do you think you're waiting for on SR? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I heard you say you're waiting for the right, the white, the uh, excuse me, the right woman. Yeah, but you're not really wait, you're not waiting for anything because uh, remember you, uh, on SR you've made your choice to be great. So if you're great, why would you be waiting on anything? You bring everything to you. Here's the thing, man. Like I said, man, I know it's hard for you guys to understand because you're not there. You just don't have it. Your balls is empty. I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just telling you, <laughs> you can't think. You, your brain doesn't have the oomph, the firepower, the, the connectivity. The you, know, you don't have it going on up there yet, so you can't put together what I'm telling you. But if you had this spark, this energy, this kundalini, bro, that was going up your spine into your brain, you would you would understand what I'm telling you. You have the ability to be super amazing. What would, what, why are you wasting your time on anything else? L let me put it this way. If Superman came down here right now, listen, this should get all of y'all. If Superman came down right here, right now, he said, guys, I am holding a class to teach you young brothers how to be Superman. Mm -hmm. Sign up. Do you want to go? How many of you fools are going to sign up? Let's keep it real here. <laughs> everybody, right? Yeah. E even though you might not be able to do it, everybody's going to sign up because Superman just came down here and said, look, I'm going to teach you how to be me. And this is what you have to do. So you have to put it in your mind however the best way you can to see yourself to the end goal, to the prize on what it is that you got to do to be successful. And this is a way of doing it. You use your imagination. Uh, picture what it is that you want to do, that you want to accomplish, and understand that you're going to need all the energy it takes possible to get to that goal. And the first thing that you need to do, bro, is start putting proper fuel in your body, getting proper rest, bro, and stop releasing the energy that is going to provide you with all that stuff. Hey, so yeah. you Hello? I just wanted to touch on that because I think the problem is a lot of dudes putting women up higher than they need to. They need to be putting mm -hmm. their their dreams and their passions, the things they want to accomplish in life. That should be up top. Women is like a, par a byproduct of that. Mm -hmm. So I think when you just switch that priority, 
you ain't even got to worry about that. That's like women will come and eventually, you know, you start a family and all that good stuff. But um, before that, man, it's got to be your your purpose, man. That's got to be number one. For sure. Your career, I, think I, I think that's what I'm going to retain for for my career and stuff like that. Oh, man. Yeah, no, for sure. And, that's, and you'll be ahead of the game because most dudes are not on that. Most dudes are putting women first, way ahead. And it's like, that's why there's so many simps and suckers that are just ruining this thing. Because men ain't, aren't leading anymore. And women are just running with it. You see it all over social media. They're just only fans and just doing all these, they're dressing half naked. And, and dudes give in so quick and easy. You know, we give in so quick and easy to that stuff. And it's, they, they doing, they're going to have fun with us. <laughs> Just playing. I get it. I get it. Seamer attention is for the higher caller. Definitely. That's something. That's just something I never really. I mean, I'm sure the answer was there, but you know, broken down all the way. You know, I just I didn't really get it just until now. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got to figure it out as we go. We all got our goals and stuff. We got to just. It, it's all. Depends on your goals. That's what I think. That's it. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure we got we got a lot out of this tonight. And don't, don't you guys think? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, mini master class. <laughs> so, should we do this more? This is what we should do, bro. Get in with the fellas, man, and just let everybody get up here and just say what it is they want to say. Definitely. This was dope. Yeah. Love hearing everybody's perspective. Me too, man. I, I do, bro. And I appreciate all you guys for being in here, man. As always, I appreciate all the support. I love you guys. Listen, man, I'm about to get up out of here. We're going to do this in, a, in a, probably a few more days. We're going to do this again, guys. Okay, so save yeah. whatever it is that you have for the next one, that energy, bro. And we'll be back on the next one, man. All right? All right. So all right. So all right man. I appreciate you guys, man. Again, go ahead, Dylan. All y'all say peace before we get out of here. Yeah, peace, man. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. All right, man. Salute to y'all, boy, man. Stay up. Peace, man. Yeah, Peace, man. See you fellas on the next one, man. Go. I will not stay. Even if I must sacrifice my life.